Good morning, happy new year. Today is the first day of 2022 and it's an exciting time. If you're new here, a few weeks ago I moved from Pennsylvania to Wilmington, North Carolina by myself, just me and my dog. And this is my first time living completely by myself as a single person. And this is also the furthest away from my family that I've ever lived. So it was a really big, kind of scary, but also very exciting change in my life. And I just feel like now that it's officially the new year, I just feel like I'm officially entering the next chapter. This year, I'm also gonna be turning 30. I usually am not the kind of person that like sets New Year's resolutions or gets super excited or feels any different when the year changes, but this year, things feel a little different. So I'm excited to share that with all of you. But what we're gonna be doing today is getting the apartment clean, finally put everything away so that we can just like start this new year off right. And I'm definitely one of those people that if the space I'm living in is messy or not super clean, it just affects my mental state. And then I feel like very blah and I don't feel as productive. I feel like I can't get as much done. And then after all of that, I wanna treat myself to a little spa night. So that's the plan for today. I'm going to finish this coffee while my eye masks sit on. These are the e.l.f. charcoal hydro gel under eye masks. Then I have to take my dog out for a walk and then we can get started. And if you also are looking to be productive, hopefully this will motivate you. Maybe you can put this on in the background while you're doing some cleaning as well. So this just happened. Love that. I guess on the bright side, it's a good thing that it happened before I started cleaning rather than after. But uh, yeah, somebody knocked over a plant. Okay, so this is what we're starting with. Quite a mess. But it's going to look so much better once we're done. I think first I'm going to start with putting the bed sheets to wash because especially that blanket, it kind of takes a while to dry. So let's get that going while we do everything else. And in case you're wondering, because I always am curious and like to see this kind of stuff, this is the laundry detergent that I have been using recently. It smells so good. So I do this, and then this is the fabric softener that I've been using with it. And then I usually like to put a scoop of this OxyClean powder in there to really make sure it gets it nice and clean and stain free.
Okay, we are making some progress. I had all of my salon stuff in a cardboard box. So now I got this container and I put all of the things that are okay to be outside, not in a temperature controlled area. So just like, you know, my curling iron, clips, combs, brushes, etc. And then all of the products, like extra color and developer and all of that, I put in this drawer here. So I had to kind of like move some things around and consolidate some space. I have a couple of movies and some games and whatnot. So I'm gonna look for some kind of bin that I can put on this shelf because this has just been kind of empty, not really sure what to put there anyway. And I think that'll be perfect. That way I'll fill the shelf, have somewhere to put that stuff, but I wanna, you know, get something that looks nice so you can't see what's in it, you know what I mean? So for now, I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna put this in the storage closet out here. The kitchen and the living room i mean i have a couple things up here this is like extra bath and body work soaps and candles and stuff i need to figure out how i'm going to organize that and where i want to store them for the most part the kitchen is all done super clean very excited looking cute and the living room is all clean as well still don't have a couch i cannot wait for it to arrive so that it really feels finished in here and I can hang out in here a little more. I have all of my plants out here on the balcony because I watered them all today. So I'm letting them get some sun. I have my comforter in the dryer. I need to throw the next load of laundry in and then I just need to clean the bedroom, which the bedroom and the bathroom I cleaned not even like a full week ago. So they're not too bad. They should be pretty quick. And I don't have too much organizing or anything that I need to do. Like all my clothes and everything are put away. So I just need to like straighten up on top of my dresser, dust, vacuum. That's the progress so far. I am going to stop here and take a little lunch break and then we'll get back to it. By the way, I have been re-watching the show Supernatural. Love it. This is my third time I think re-watching it. I've noticed I have a habit of any time I move I start re-watching a show that is like a comfort show to me and my comfort shows seem to be Supernatural, Gilmore Girls, and Breaking Bad and Sex and the City. I always end up going back and re-watching them and I can't even tell you how many times I've seen each one of those shows all the way through from start to finish. Anyone else? Let me know. <laughs>
right, everything is finally all clean. Fresh clean bed sheets. I just have my last load of laundry in the dryer. Feels so good to finally be done. It's funny because when I first moved in here, a few people were commenting, asking why I decided to get a one bedroom and not a bigger place so that I could have room for like an office on my desk and all of that. And there are some days where I'm like, you know, maybe I should have got a two bedroom. It would be nice to have a little more space. But then there's days like today where I clean the whole entire apartment and I'm so grateful that I just have a one bedroom and that it's not too big. Now I wanna have a little like pamper spa night. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is tint my eyelashes. I used to get eyelash extensions for like years, but I've been taking a break from them just to save money and time, honestly, because it's a lot of upkeep. And my real lashes have been growing super long. I've been using the Grande Lash Lash Serum and they have gotten so long and so healthy, but my natural hair is very fine and the color of my lashes is like a really, really light brown. So you can't really see them that well. So I like to tint them to make them super black. So that way it looks like I have mascara on without having to actually put any makeup on. Squeezing out a little bit. Just mixing it up in here. And I'm going to just hold this um, cotton pad under my eyes close and just brush this onto my lashes there is the tint on my lashes so this is gonna sit on for 10 minutes and then I'm just gonna wipe it off and not get my lashes wet for 24 hours here's the after they look really good but yeah now you can see how long my lashes are. Now I'm going to wash my face, which I should have did before I did my lashes, but it's fine. I will just avoid the eye area. The mask that I'm doing is the Ole Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. I love this. If you've been watching me for a while, you know how much I love this stuff because I use it a lot it just gives your skin such a nice glow evens out the texture it makes it look like so plump and hydrated and feels really good I feel so nice and refreshed. That bath was so lovely. I had a glass of wine and I just finished doing the rest of my skincare. Now I'm ready for bed. I'm exhausted. It was a really good productive day and nothing feels better than having a spotless, beautifully clean place and then just getting to relax and going to sleep in some freshly washed sheets. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you really soon in my next one. Bye.